Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Phonix. Today what I have for you guys is some interesting information regarding all the new royalty variants coming to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, I made a video the other day talking about all the new royalty variants and the new SAC 3 isolated as well as some of the new other new SAC 3 variants. Now I'm going to go over all that today as well as show you guys some images, some in-game footage, of the new weapons and all that so stay tuned if we can let's try to hit 50 likes on today's video it really means a lot to me helps get my content out there helps grow my channel and it only takes a second so if you guys can real quickly right now drop a like on today's video so without further ado let's get right into it I'm gonna throw a picture up on screen right now as you guys can see this has is an armory picture of all the royalty variants um, starting with the TAC-19 royalty. Now as you guys can see, a lot of you guys that saw my other video talking about the royalty variants were saying that they're just placeholders, that they are going to actually have different stats, but this just proves what I was saying, that they are actually going to have the same stats, which actually makes me believe that you can actually earn these royalty variants. I have a feeling that you're going to be able to earn these through certain challenges or I'm not really sure yet, but I just mark my words, I have a feeling you're going to be able to earn these variants you know, through some kind of challenge. So as you guys can see from the TAC-19, this is exactly the same stats as the TAC-19 Sledgehammer. Now as you go down the, li as you go down the list, um, the S-12 is the same as the Tiger Blood, the Moors is the same as the Doctor, Pytech uh, Royalty is the same as, I believe it's the Exploit, uh, Amelie is the same as the Chicanery, the uh, HBR Royalty I believe is the same as the Bare Fist, I'm not sure on that one, AK-12 I know is the um, What's it called? The Finger Trap. Bow 27 is the Inferno. KF5 is the Spanner. ASM1 is the Speakeasy. And SAC 3 is the Isolated. Now, what's cool about this is the SAC 3 Royalty, you can see the SAC 3 Isolated right next to it. Now, I'm going to throw a picture up on screen right now to show you guys what the stats are in the SAC 3 Isolated. Now, as you guys can see, it's basically the same damage profile as the MP11 Goliath. It has plus three damage, minus three handling. And what's really cool about this is they actually have the same exact damage. Um, they both have a 30 max damage, a medium damage of 30, and then 24 at a distance. So they're both very similar. They both have a 30, 30, 24 damage profile. And I didn't look at the range numbers, but I can imagine they're very similar. They're probably going to be very similar weapons. I know that they both fire at the same fire rate, which is 923 RPM. Uh, they both start with 32 rounds in the clip. So they're both going to be very similar weapons. Um, so yeah, just be prepared. It's basically like a reskinned MP11 Goliath, but it has a different reload animation, and you are stuck with a red dot. So just keep those things in mind. Um, and what's kind of cool here, I'll show you guys a quick little uh, gameplay footage of using the isolated. Um, it's pretty much the same animation as holding just one or just holding two of them. Um, the reload is a little bit different, but when you're just walking around holding it, it looks very much the same. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smack that like button. It helps get my content out there. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.